I wasn't expecting you to be that loud. She's a little hefty. First of all, welcome back to another video. Hey guys, how are you? If y'all read the title of this video, y'all already know what we're about to do. I'm taking this whole video and I'm putting it in your hands. You guys have the power in this video. I asked you guys on a poll on my Instagram, which nail design should I do for this Saturday's video? And I gave you guys three different choices. Let me check what y'all pick, cause I really don't know. Let me get my phone right quick. Let's go to Instagram. Instagram, 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 Instagram. Okay. Okay, A, so we're doing A. The the other one, y'all both got half and half, but when I saw it, okay, whatever. So we're doing A, which is this nail set with Ohuhu Beauty Poly Gel. Now, first of all, look how big this box is. Y'all saw how hefty she was in the beginning of the video how I just smacked down right here on this table. It comes with 18 different color poly gel tubes. Hence why this box is so big. I just really can't wait to crack this open because I don't know what comes within the kit. I'm gonna give y'all a closer look. Y'all know how I do. But let me just take a little Oh my Y'all look. You get a big old nail lamp, like a regular size nail lamp. Y'all know with poly gel kids, usually you get those small little mini nail lamps. I like it, I like it. We're gonna do a proper unboxing later on in the video, but I wanna go ahead and get my notification shout outs right on out the way. So these are my three winners for today's notification shout out. They were the first three people to comment on my last video. So thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on. And if you guys would like a shout out, just like these three people, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have those post notifications turned on. That way you can be one of the first three people to comment on my videos. and. You you will get a shot at in my very next video. But y'all, let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing. All right, so let me just start by saying you can find this on Amazon. So it is a poly gel kit that comes with 18 different colors. And this is basically the instruction manual that it comes with. And then voila, we have all of the colors that will be in the kit. Here you see right here, that's the color we gonna need. And then we're gonna need the white. So we have the colors that we need. So I'm ready. It looks like mainly kind of like nudes and pinks. And then you have like the temperature changing colors and then the glitters down here. So let's get them out so we can see what's going on. Okay, so all of the tubes come in like different little plastic crates like this so we can all fit in the box it has three different crates so let's take this top off here we have like the base coat and then we have a glossy top coat i don't want to jump ahead but they have a matte top coat so you get glossy and you get a matte finish if you want that so here are the tubes and these tubes are about 15 grams so you get a decent amount of product now here we have the actual UV nail lamp. All right, so this is the nail lamp and then it comes with the cord as well. Okay, so we have a dome. And then of course, that's how it looks underneath. And then here we have 60 seconds, 80 seconds, and then 99 seconds. And then here is the cord. It's not as long as my Melody Susie's cord, but I mean, I'm not complaining though. Plugs up back here in the back. And then you will need to provide a wall piece, but that's that. And then it comes with some plastic nail forms. And it's really the basic little nail forms with the curve in it. I don't think I'm gonna use these in this video. Y'all know I like to use tips with my poly gel, but it is super easy to use these plastic nail forms. I will show you guys that in a different video. I have no clue what's in this little box, so let's just open her up and see. Oh, 
it. So they also provide a nail file. And then here we have a nail clipper and it's a real sturdy one, must I say. Look at that. We have a cuticle pusher here, which is similar to the cuticle pusher that I use on the daily. So I like that. And then we have a cuticle nipper. Normally, like, like poly gel kits with the bare minimum, don't really have these extra components. So I'm really liking everything that comes with the kit for the price. It's really living up to the price and I'm liking it. And then lastly, we have the brush. You have the brush for a poly gel application on this side. And I don't know what this side is called. I call it a spatula because <laughs> that's what it kind of looks like. So let's just do some swatches of them all just to see what we're working with. Okay, let's start with the glitter poly gels. So this one is DP02, DP05, DGPA, and DGP6. And then we have our shades of pink, P12, P1, P8, P7, P9. And these are our nudes, BR3, N4, N7. And then we have the temperature changing poly gel. CH12, CH11, CH10, CH14. And then the only last two poly gel tubes we have left is clear and white. And I mean, there's no need to do swatches on these two because I mean, we already know what that looks like. So that's all of the poly gel that comes within the kit. But for this set, we only need about three colors. We're going to use her with some white. And then I'm gonna cap it off with some clear poly gel on top. So when I'm filing, I really don't mess up my French design underneath. So y'all, let's get started. So we could just get started prepping. Now, look at my nails, y'all. Oh, mess. I'm just gonna take the nail clipper they provided. We're just gonna even this out a bit. Mm, I don't really need to do nothing there. And we're just gonna shape these up a little better. And I usually use a buffer to kind of remove the shine from my nails for poly gel, but we're just gonna use the nail file that they provided. I'm gonna use the side that isn't as coarse and just like kind of buff it out really lightly. You just really want to remove the shine. And then you got the cuticle pusher that also came with the kit. And I'm just going to use that to push back my cuticles. And then we're going to use this end just to clean up any like dead skin that's still lingering in there. I don't have too much. Now to really get these cuticles together. Let's see what this nail drill can do. So this nail drill is also from Ohuhu Beauty. It looks like it's a nail drill for natural nails. So let's see. And there it is. So I really just need something for my cuticles. I was gonna see. We can probably use this right here or that. So plug it in down here, light comes on, and I'm going to try, we're going to use this one first, let's see. It vibrates a lot, so it's something that I'm not really liking too much. Y'all see how it looks like wobbling? Okay, we're gonna try this other bit to see if it does a little better. I'm just trying to make sure all the dead skin kind of comes up. And that one worked a little better. I don't have too much dead skin. So we're just gonna keep this around so we can just pop it back out when we need it. So we're gonna start with a base coat. And we're gonna do one coat to coat the nail. I 
All right, so I got my nail lamp out and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cure it for about 60 seconds. So I'm gonna be using these square tips that I got from Amazon. They look like this. All right, and I'm using KDS nail glue in just a little bit. Y'all know, KDS nail glue will snatch your soul if you put too much. And then I like to slide a little bit more in between the little cracks. Since we only started off with a little bit. Nice. So on the picture, they were fairly long. So maybe go right here. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now see, the thing that I don't like about C-curve square nail tips is that they're really like wide. They can be really wide and boxy. And, and then after you put on product on top of the nail, it just looks too thick and wide and whatever. So what I found that helps is like just cutting it from the side right here. Sometimes I take a nail file, right? And then I come right here to the side wall of my nail. And then I lay the file right there. And then if there's a piece of like the nail tip that falls below, Below the nail file that got to go and then level it out and then cut this little piece off like that and then I might have to file that down if I really can't get to cutting it yeah I'll just file that little piece off and then on this side let's do the same thing on this side is not really that much but it's just a little tad bit I'm gonna cut a little sliver off just ah shoot i hate when that happens there we go you're gonna take your file and just file that straight And then just do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna try to file this little piece down right here. And then after that, you can just go in on both sides. And don't forget that free edge. And there you have it. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my drill with just a regular sanding band and just kind of fall down around the smile line of the false nail. So I'm not touching my nail. And that's just so it's not bulky around this side. All right, now let me just dust off. I'm gonna need a little bit of this. I like to go ahead and put it in a dapping dish. Like that. This is the closest shade of pink to what's in that picture. So this is what I'm gonna use for that. Just go ahead and put it right there. I'm gonna wet this brush up a bit. And then just go ahead and mold it into that nice French shape that we like and want. And just make sure there's no bubbles in your poly gel. I'm just gonna push it up and make sure it's nice and clean at the cuticle area. You don't wanna put too much up there, but just enough. And then we can cut it right on down like this. Mm 
I'm gonna put a little bit more, but that's like really the idea we wanna have right there. I'm gonna put some more while it's still wet. I didn't cure it yet. Just wet my brush a little bit and go back in with it. I want it to be a, just a tad bit lower than what it was. And we might need to take a little bit off. That looks pretty good. If you know me, you know I love a good deep French cut. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. <gasps> Y'all wanna know something? Oh my God, I messed up. I forgot to buff out these tips. Mm. There's nothing I can do about that now, but buff out what's there for me to buff out, so. We're gonna buff out all this visible space that I didn't cover yet. This is just so the poly gel can have a tacky surface to adhere to. Because if not, it's gonna come up easily. I don't know why, how I forgot to do that. And while I'm doing this, I can just go ahead and do this too. <laughs> Okay, now we talking. Just remember never to forget to buff out those tips. All right, just gonna place it right here. And just kind of fill it in. get a little messy it's fine you just want to make sure you keep this shape in because we're just going to file that right on down i'm just going to take my finger and just take all that off and boom all right and now i'm gonna let this cure for a good 90 seconds look at this now when i file this down it's gonna be bomb just wait just wait all right now before i start filing i want to make sure that the gummy surface isn't there so i got some alcohol and i'm just gonna rub it on top of the poly gel and that'll harden it up the way i need it to be all right no more gummies. Uh, since it's poly gel, I'm just gonna use a regular sanding gun. And it should work. And honestly, after I filed off the extra, like the white that kind of trickled over to the other side, I really start filing, even though I'm gonna file in the end, but I wanna really keep my shape. So I just really start filing around the sides, making sure the shape is still there. And then we're gonna make an apex with the clear poly gel that we're gonna cap it off with on top. And see that way we still got our perfect shape. Now we just have to make an apex cause look how flat that is from the side. No, 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 no. But first we need to buff. And that's just water y'all. I'm just trying to get all of the dust and stuff off. Kink. Start capping. All right, now for the clear. So what we want to do is create the apex, right? And see right now it's 
flat everything is flat there's no type of apex going on so i'm just gonna put the clear not up here on the cuticle right but we're gonna start like right here in the middle like that right and even that i feel like that was too close to the cuticle but you know so here this big bulk here i'm just gonna press on that and then we're gonna press that up into the cuticle and i just want like a thin little piece up here at the cuticle so i'm gonna press it up until it's like really really thin and now you can already see we got a little apex going right so we're just gonna like work around this apex that's already kind of forming. Do it a bit more down here, just to make sure everything is like really, really covered. And now I'm going to go ahead and cure for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Okay, but why don't it even look pink anymore? Like, it just looks clear. Mm -hmm. Because of my application, like, around the cuticle area. Look, it's not flooded around the cuticle. So if I didn't have a drill, I wouldn't need one to, like, clean up the cuticle. It looks like acrylic okay so in the picture they have like a little pink outline around the french line so i'm going to take this little pink it's called you wish from madam glam yeah get into it and then i have this long fine liner also from madam glam We're just gonna go back in with some acetone to clean this up. Yep, some acetone will fix that right on up. Watch. Okay, now this is how they're looking right here. And now it's time for a good old top coat. Now for the finishing touches, I have some Swarovski crystals that I plan on using. And then we have the teddy bears here, like it's on the picture. Now the picture has pink crystals on there, pink rhinestones. And I don't have any pink rhinestones, so I'm just gonna use what I have. All right, so I'm just gonna take some gel polish. This is just regular gel polish because I ran out of my other gel that I used to glue down rhinestones. Put some tweezers. Should I do the bigger one or should I do like the medium sized teddy bear? Let's just do this one. And then cure it. Y'all think I should've went with the bigger teddy bear? Mm. Well, it's done now. Place the bigger rhinestone towards the bottom. Gel on the smaller one, but. 
so this is the finished product now it doesn't look exactly like the picture but they still look so gorgeous now that i'm looking back at it i probably would have picked the larger teddy bear over this medium sized one but it still looks good y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this set give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and if you want to be a part of the next video i do like this one make sure you follow me on instagram so you know whenever i post a post so you can be a part of it i want to give a big thank you to ohuhu beauty for sponsoring this video and if you want to know more about this kit i have the link in the description down below ohuhu beauty is also sponsoring my monthly nail giveaway on instagram so be on the lookout for that at the end of this month on my instagram big shout out to you for watching this far in the video i hope this video inspired you to try something new and i will see you guys in my next video next week bye guys Thank you.